And while you're at it, be sure and check us out on Facebook slash 21st Century Pet. Like us and immediately receive a dollar off coupon. Good for any 21st Century Pet Health product. You can also find us at 21stCenturyPet.com. Get great pet tips to keep up with the latest in all things pet. Tell them Larry sent you. Your pet deserves 21st Century Pet Vitamins today. They're your best friends. I walk along the street of sorrow. Welcome back, everybody. It is the PM Show featuring Larry and Nancy Minetti. Today, we're talking with guest Dr. Carl Petrasso. Dr. Carl Petrasso is a PhD. He is a psychologist, and he's also a dream interpreter. And we're taking your calls today, 800-336-2225, all about dreams. And um, we, we want to find out more about I think we might have lost Dr. Carl uh, Tomas on line six. We'll get him back on the line. Um, we are definitely taking your calls, 800-336-2225, 800-336-2225. And I was talking with, uh, with, with Will and uh, Larry during the break. We were asking about the, pers- the perspective that you have in your dream. You know, we were yeah. talking about, is it a first person? You know, are you, are you in yourself? Or are you looking at yourself from the outside? I, I'm always seeing myself in the dream. I'm never, it's never from my point of view. It's almost like I'm watching a movie. So maybe that's why I like reviewing movies. But that's how <laughs> I see, that's how I see my dreams. Like I see everything I'm doing. And you know, I had the same experience. It's not always like that, but I think the more memorable ones, I do. I have that perspective. Mine, that. mine, it's always like that. I'm wondering what that might say about uh, my personality. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to find out. We're going to get Dr. Carl on the line now. Tomas is securing it. But I mean, Larry, I mean, you know, we were talking about your dreams recently. Have you had anything that really stood out and saying, "What did that mean?" You know, was there something strange kind of going well, on? I, I get dreams that uh, that I literally I'll wake up. And then I try and go back to sleep because I want the dream back. But it never happened. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what? I've done that. And I thought, oh, this is a great dream. I, I'm just going to roll over and I'm going to get pick up the dream. And you want to know something? If I roll over into the same position I was in when I woke up, it comes back. If I roll to the other side, it's gone. That's because I'm on that side, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. What a Weisenheimer. <laughs> And Dr. Dr. Carl. Dr. Carl, what about that? Well, uh, I kind of agree with Larry on that one. <laughs> I'm okay. just sitting around with you. Actually, when your brain sleeps, what happens is that um, the uh, parts of the brain that have to do with movement of the body actually turn off. Because if you think about it a minute, if you're running in a dream and the muscles of your body that control your legs didn't turn off, you'd start to run in your bed or start to kick your legs in your bed. So the muscle movements of of the brain do uh, turn off and change during the time that you're in REM sleep and actually dreaming. And it could be that getting back into that same body position cues your muscles to go back into that same level of REM sleep that you were at when you were having the dream, and so you picked the dream right up. I've oh, had, very cool. I've had dreams where I have literally punched the air. I guess a, a, who knows Woke why. up swinging, yeah. And I think, yeah, like well, yeah, swinging I've, or I've screaming. I've woken or, up screaming. Yeah. yeah, you know, and, and it's funny. Yeah. You were talking about, uh, Nancy, going back into your dream. My wife, literally, if I wake her up too early in the day, she'll, I'm dreaming, leave me alone. I'm, le- I'm dreaming. <laughs> She's really enjoying the dream that she, she wants to be left alone and, and kind of do that. But now, Dr. Carl, uh, we lost the line there for a second, and what uh, Will was talking about was um, the perspective of the dream he was mentioning that he has a third person perspective where he feels like he's watching himself in a movie but then nancy was saying that she has a first person perspective where she's actually in her own body looking through her eyes is there is there a psychological difference in in what that means yeah there is our perspectives uh in in our dreams do change and a lot of that has to do with the unconscious mind and with the issue that we're working uh with during dreaming and also don't forget a lot of that gets very close to the whole idea of lucid dreaming 
which is that in your dream you suddenly become aware that you're dreaming or that you're in your dream. But dreaming is the only condition, and if you think of this, we really don't have this in our conscious life. Dreaming is the only condition where we're doing something and we're actually watching ourselves doing it. We're both in the movie and the viewer of the movie. And I talk about that in the book, how a dream is very much, very similar to a movie. You know, we talk about symbols, and I know there's a lot of books on symbols out there. I have some great books myself on symbols. But one thing that people often forget is that a lot of the symbols in our dreams are actually our own symbols from our own life. We think of people that we knew, schools that we went to, places that we worked at, cars that we've owned, and those are all symbols in a dream, as well as the other more general symbols that we know. Yeah, what about um, like if we're flying, or if we we're in water, or we're fighting water? Those are symbols too, aren't they? <laughs> Things like flying and things like water are definitely symbols, and those belong to a very unique category of symbols, and I'll let you know what those what that means in a minute. Oh, great. And I hope we get some callers in because I'd love to do some interpretation. Well, I was just going to ask you, Dr. Carl, when we come back from the break, we do have a couple callers on the line, and we're hoping we could uh, maybe do some online uh, live interpretations. Oh, great. I'd love to. Great. Stand by, buddy. We're, uh, this show's flying by. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Guys, call in 800-336-2225, 800-336-2225 to speak to Dream Interpreter Dr. Carl Petrasso when we come back right after this.